what do you wish all your fellow mental health providers understood about autism? I there's so many things, and that's very difficult to answer. I, you know, I I do. We both, Dr. K and I, both see a, a lot of people that have been through a lot of therapists and a lot of doctors, mm -hmm. and I wish that everybody had a little more up to date information, psychoeducation on autism and how that, you know, mental health conditions express differently, how medications may work differently, how you can't, you know, expect to use something um, with someone neurodivergent um, and, and get the same result as someone neurotypical. I mean, sometimes you can, but oftentimes not. So I think it was is first to do no harm, like to have that information so we're not um, making matters worse. I think that sometimes there can be a little bit of focus on what the limitations are in a given individual. And then there, it, like Cheryl's eye had, and obviously this is something Cheryl and I do all the time. This is what Cheryl would have said is the one bravo. But um, it becomes really, really important to understand how critical it is to convey that the neural circuitry and autism conveys vulnerability. It also conveys strengths and that identification and recognition of those strengths and taking advantage of those strengths during peak cortical plasticity windows during adolescence and learning how to take advantage of granular data retention and pattern generation and the like and figuring out <clears throat> what kind of data you're best at playing with. That changes outcome. That changes long-term outcome and it gives opportunity.